Okay, Assalamualaikum. Today we're going to continue with part 2 of assembly language. And it's about addressing mode. Okay. So, instruction content of code. The instruction is up. Followed by operand. Operand specify where the data is. Okay. So, the different way to address operand are called the addressing mode. So, the, we can have three kinds of addressing mode, which is immediate. Okay. In the instruction itself, we put the data or uh, register where the data inside uh, is inside a register or the data might be in a memory at a certain location or a certain variety. So for this example, in the operand is just a member or a constant value. So we try to move a h, uh, move a h with the value of uh, o zero d in hex okay so this is from the previous class let's comment this one okay, okay. so today we're going to start with move a h with the value of zero d h okay so we try to emulate this one so what will happen here is okay so we're going to move value of 0d into ah that means they're, they're not going to be any changes at al but they're going to be changes at ah okay so let's try so ah is going to get the value of zero okay in this mode data okay data here 0d is a part of the instruction okay so that's uh, what we call as uh, just now as immediate okay transfer is for a number store in transfer is for a number store immediately after the move of code okay after the move uh, code, the, uh, after the move instruction immediate value should not exceed the destination register that's mean if you want to move uh, this one is valid this one is valid and uh, move ds 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 is not valid because ds is not our what we call it our general purpose register okay so let's try all three of these okay go to this one okay put down here move al with the value of g5h move cx with the value of that one and this one try to move okay Oh, this one. Okay, value up. Okay, so the last one should be vehicle. Okay, let's have a space there. Let's try to compile it first. Okay, will it? So we're going to get error. Okay, uh, wrong parameter. Okay, move uh, the S stand for one of the registers just now. Uh, data segment. Okay? Cannot use segment register. Yeah, data segment. Okay, segment register with an immediate value okay so this one is illegal okay so now we can remove this one so let's try to move it again so now we will move ah with 0d so 0d will go here and then al with two part two part will go here okay two part will go there okay and then uh and why we keep going to source code okay. and then the next instruction will be move cx with the value 2 3 f6 okay. 2 3 f6 will go to cx okay so try to adjust this one that's right this is legal move okay. move let's say bx uh, b l okay with the value of uh, 1 2 3 Let's see what happened. Did uh very well. Okay. So let's try to move it. Okay, see? Move BL below with the value of 1, 2, 3. So operand do not match. Second operand is over at B. See? So when you try to push this one, okay, they cannot push uh 1, 2, 3 into BL. Okay. 
correct this, you need to change PL to X. Okay. Then try to amend that again. Is there any? Okay. So now move BX with the value 6, 5. So this is also over because BX is conceived of BH and BL. Okay. Is uh, 1 by. Let's show it. 1 by 2 by 16. Okay, so it cannot have more than 60. So let's try to reduce it. Let's say we remove the tag number. Okay. Now try to admit. Now everything is pushing well. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to move value of AH with 0D. So 0D is going to go there. Okay, good. And then AL, 25. 25 will go at the back here. Okay. And then CX going to get all the value. Okay, CX. Going to update H and nope. And then BX, uh, 0, 1 will go to the H, the BH, 2, 3 will go to the BL. Okay, nicely done. 6, 5, 4, 3. So we're going to update this one to 6, 5, 4. Okay. So that is about uh, what you call that? Uh, immediate. Okay. The immediate addressing. Now let's see. Okay, register in register mode. Can you have a call it uh, register addressing mode? Okay. Any of the following register can be used. Okay, so general purpose register, uh, general and special purpose register, general purpose eight bit register or seven bit register. Name of register which has data. Uh, this one. Okay. Um, Oh, okay, register. No, all register is data. Okay, nice. Transfer is from register. Okay, so let's try. Why is this? Uh, oh, okay. Okay. So this is the movement between register. So let's just move this one. So before we do this, let's see. We know that the last one is illegal. Let's check why. Let's try to write. Okay, it's wrong because okay, the source is uh, from CL. Okay, uh, counter Leo, which only have 8 bit. We want to move the data to AX. We have 60 bit. So it doesn't match. That means if your data is 8 bit, you can only move to 8 bit register. Okay. If your data is 16 bit, you can only move to 16 bit register. Okay, let's try to see what happened. Okay. So let's put a comment here. This is a immediate This one, the first one. Ah. We need the addressing mode. Okay, this one will be uh, register and register to address. Okay, address. Let's try to emulate this one. Okay. So as previously done, we're going to move a h first, update a h, update a l, and then update c x, okay, update b x, update a x, okay, okay. Now move a l, move c l to a l. C l now have f six. It's going to be moved here. So the a h, a sorry, is going to be moved to a l. Okay. So turn. 25 going to be changed to F6. Okay, good. And then move AX with, uh, from the value of DX. So DX is 0. So we're going to reset AX to 0. Okay, good. Okay. So that is how register addressing mode works. Okay. Um, okay. So the last one. Okay, the last one. Um, what we call this? Uh, memory, uh, memory addressing mode. Okay, so in memory addressing mode, 
the operand give the address of the location in main memory okay so this one mean move ax with the value from location one two three four okay so type okay is there an example here move al move al is the okay okay Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's try. Let's try to make it. Uh, let's try this one. This one. This one. Okay. Why not we try? Move. Okay. You know that I'm going to move it to one, two, three, four hex memory location with the value of. Uh, let's say we move the value of the hex. Okay, let's try to emulate this one. No, okay, there is no error. So let's view. Uh, sorry. Okay, this one. Um, this one is here. Okay. And this one is here. Let's view. View menu. Okay. Okay. So this is all the locations of the view menu. Okay. Let's try, right? Okay, nothing happened here. Let's go here. Yeah, we will run, run, run. So far, we're going to move 6543 to uh, BX. Okay. Update AL. AL going to be F6. Okay. And then update AX to the value of 0. Okay. So let's see what happened here. We're going to move BX to A234. Try to try. Oh, we are not seeing any different thing. Okay. So let's move back. Okay, move back. Okay. So how are we going to see view? So let me start. The menu is not complete. Ah, hopefully it is Okay, okay. One, two, uh, three, zero. Which? Two. Sorry, one, two, three, zero, two. Uh, one, two, three. Two three zero two one two three four nine two one two three. This one, this one should be um, okay. There we go. One. Okay, let's move. We're going to start with one two three zero. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, nine. Oh, one, two, three. Okay. So let's try to move. Who's that? Ah, see? The value is updated into our memory issue. Okay. See? Uh, four, three. BX okay, so the value is uh, 65 and 40. So the value is 65 and 43. Okay, so this means our addressing mode is using a uh, little Indian okay, from big to small. Okay, uh, what's next? Okay, so this is how you do memory. Okay, so from here. We can add another instruction. That's awesome. And add another instruction here. Let's move the value from our memory to AX since our AX was zero. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's try to emulate again. Okay, so up 
see that this is there, this is the new one, which we release. So we are up here. And then structure to run it first. Okay, now we are ready. Move a value of ex to memory location 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is somewhere right here. Okay. And we're going to move 6543 value of ex. So 6543, this is uh, what we call it little Indian from big address to small address, little address in mode. And then the next one, we're going to move it back. Okay, to ax. So ax is going to get value of 6543 from this level. Okay. So let's see the limitation. Okay. So in uh, memory addressing mode, the opera gives the address of the location in memory to use in the operation. Okay, so this is what we do. So there are two types, direct or indirect addressing. Okay, so this is a direct addressing. What we try here is direct address. Okay, direct addressing means we specify uh, specifically uh, the address. But what we can do here, okay, effective address. Effective address is given in the instruction. So transfer is between register and a memory. So it must involve register and memory. Okay, it cannot only consist of um, uh, between register and register. So it's going to be illegal. Okay, and indirect. Okay? Indirect means you have the address of the uh, registers. So we know that we have like this one, okay? What we call this uh, destination index, okay? And we also have remember here is this uh, address, okay? So if you want to remove this one also, it's possible, okay? So this will be indirect address, okay? So indirect when it's uh, designated also will involve but, uh, when you try to uh, what we call that uh, move the variable. Okay, so let's try this one. Okay, so let's try this one. Let's go to this one and put uh, direct. Let's put the word direct. Okay. And the last one will be in. So what we're going to, do, going to do here is ex plus sr. So let's just skip all this page. Okay, right. okay, okay. So now we're going to move from register I from memory six five four three by two ax. Good. Now we're going to move bx. Okay, the address of bx. Okay, BX, we're going to move to AL. So, BX, we're going to move to AL. So, this is AL. It's going to be changes at AL. Okay. So, what go BL going to get? It's going to get 0. zero. Okay. Uh, because we are moving the address. Okay. The value at end. So, let's go back. Okay. Mm, let's look at bx. So this is bx. Okay. Now this is the Okay, so this is bx. So let's move it to uh, KL. Okay. So we will reset KL to zero and then bi. Mm, AL move to the I. So AL value is 0, 0. So A going to move to the I. Nothing happened. Okay. And then another one. Uh, AH. Okay. The X plus uh, SI. The, the addressing. Okay. So we're going to update at AH. So all the value there just now was zero. 
Okay, because it's referring to the prime area. The prime value, so it's going to reset everything to and the red value, so it's going to reset everything to zero. So that is an example of indirect neighborhood address. So is that? Hi, thank you. Salam.